Alright, so I've been wanting to do this with her. So I've got a couple, I don't use tools very often. Okay, and when I do, it's because either the dog needs it or the person needs it. Pretty generally, it's usually the person. Like people that swear by them say, hey man, that's good for the dog. So I want to compare. This is my, okay. So the people that use them all the time say not to get things like this. Let's see. Where do I got to stand? So this is an easy clip. The reason I tell people to get the easy clip is because it's easier on their hands and therefore easier on the dog because they don't have to take as long to put it on. And I'm going to live on the edge here because I forgot to bring uh, my slippery because I'm using it for moose. And I looked at it and I said, uh, I was like, okay, I got to take the slip lead because this was what I was going to do. And then I said, I don't need that thing. And then I don't know what I did with my extra small leash. Oh, I got poop in my pocket. Um, this right here is why I can never do short videos anymore. On the bed. All right, so the reason I'm living on the edge She's got a pretty good recall, but if somebody comes, I don't have no way of stopping her. And usually I have a long line in there uh, uh, that I can make a slip lead with. Right. So, good job. She should be laying down, too. But, whatever. Hey. Down. Good. So, I want to say that, so, for her mom... This was this one was really hard. I'm gonna show. Let's see. I think right here is the spot, right? Yeah, perfect. So this one, what you do is so usually you undo it by the clips. This one, what you do is you put in there, right? It goes through, and then you clip on. What well, bam? And you make sure no things are spun around, so that way it works. Boop, boop, boop. No big deal. Oh my God! I can't believe you used those. I don't normally. So this one, there was two different center clips. Right? Good girl. Down. Hey. Good girl. Right? So what I noticed is one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, and five, right? So what happens with the center clip? It now is easier to put on because it's got a little clip that goes like this. And there was another one that goes straight in. So this one, what's happened is, I was supposed to leave this hole. So, so what's happened is you got three and four, and you got five and five. So what does that mean? That means this five and five is going to be better communication. So what I have seen, uh, 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 good girl, go ahead down. I didn't need to reward that. Okay. Whatever, dude. Right. So, right. So the center plate, look how, look how much different that is. Right. So that's, it's all that space that you're getting no communication or less communication. Right. So there's probably two prongs missing. So what I've noticed is she, and it could be because now that her mom's walking her more, her mom lets her get away with more stuff. So, what happens when she gets onto the pressure, when she starts that pressure, if she doesn't release it right away, I correct it, right? So what her mom does is she lets it stay on there and they walk, right? So I don't know how to show you the difference walking-wise. I would have to carry this and I'm not going to do that. But that's the difference, right? We have four and we have three. So what happens is it applies pressure around the neck, right? Hey, good girl. A bird up there. Down. Good. Um, right. So there's a lot of stuff that that when we get stuff for comfort, it it messes up your control and your communication. Right. So, but it's easier for her mom. So we gotta kind of have to deal with it, right? The only thing I can do is get her mom to start being a little bit better, and that's hard. So anyways, most trainers don't like these. Um, 
I like them because it tends to make it easier on the people, right? And whatever we can do to make it easier on the people. And again, I look, I don't usually do that often. When I do, it's because they're needed. Sometimes the dog needs it. Sometimes, the, more often than not, the person needs it. Then the person needs the help. Good girl. But sometimes, like like her, she was super hyper aware of everything. So we went to the Martingale color first. And then we went to the slip lead. And then we went to the, oh, that was the other thing I was going to talk about. And then we went to the prong collar, right? So we went up. We did two weeks each one. And there was no improvement. There was barely any improvement. Her mom still couldn't walk her like with the slip lead. That's why we went to this. Now we're we're almost two months in before we went to the prong collar, right? Now, again, mom probably wasn't doing the work that she should have been. But that's what we have to deal with, right? So when people get stuck in their ideology and the, the lies and propaganda of tools, that's dogs that you're not helping and that's people you're not helping, right? And some would say, why didn't you go to it sooner, right? I didn't go to it sooner because I try to find... First off, I try not to have people have to get more equipment, right? Most people don't want to get, oh, I got to get something else. I got to get something else. So I try to try to make people successful with what they have. Good girl. Um, what the hell is that? Oh, there's poop in that pocket, too. What's going on there? Poop in the hot dogs? That's crazy. Right? So... Anyways, where was I going? Oh, I try not to get people to have to buy more tools, right? Hold on. Yeah. So, right, so this one, with the, with the front clip like this, you put it on. And quite honestly, I think another prong needs to come out in order for it to do better. But I think then, because when I feel it, it's not creating pressure. It it feels like if I was to take one out, it's a little bit loose right now, but that feels like if I was to take another prong out, I mean, I could test it and see, but it feels like if I took another link out, it would be creating pressure the whole time. And I'd rather, I'd rather have to go a couple links before I get to the correction. Yeah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. All right. I would rather go a couple links before I have to get to the correction than for it to always be creating pressure. Oh, girl, ready for a little more walk? You are a good girl. All right, let's go. Let's let's do some heel drills. Let's do some heel drill work. Ease your brain a little bit. 